Alright guys, welcome back. So, I took a trip recently, just got back, and I want to show you where it is. Uh, take note here, this is uh, Tropic of Cancer, this is the equator. Uh, just so you know in relation to where you know we are here, about 40 degrees at uh, latitude. So we went all the way to the Indian Ocean, and right here you have the Maldives. This is where we went, pretty close to the equator, so yeah, very hot sun over here. This is an island chain of called atolls. They're very, very cool. They pretty much look like volcanoes, old volcanoes where uh, you know, a reef has been built up around a ring and the volcano has kind of sunk in. Now there's many theories out there that's not really 100%, but uh, you know, it does make sense a little bit. So, you know, some part, some of them have land on them, some of them don't. Uh, and this is the one that we stayed at. So, you know, it's a tiny island, the resort island. Uh, and here's like where you stay, you know, you could stay on the water. This is so this is really shallow. This is probably three feet, four feet. This uh, very light blue. And inside here, this is the lagoon. Uh, and this range probably from anywhere like 20 to 40 feet. And you can see these little dark sh spots. These are coral heads. So I free dive at first uh, inside the lagoon here on some of these coral heads. And so that's the footage you're going to see right now. Uh, and then later on, I started exploring a little bit more and went out to uh, the ledge. So I, you know, I went over to this area here, and that was a whole different environment. You know, saw definitely some some bigger fish and bigger schools of fish over at the ledge. But you know, I started here just to kind of get my bearings. So you know, you're not you're not really supposed to fish on these islands. Uh, they have fishing uh, trips you can go on. They'll take you out on a boat. And we did do one trip where they took us on a boat, and I think we fished uh, somewhere around like this island, I think. Uh, but you'll see that in our follow-up video. It was at night, though, so you know the lighting wasn't great. But that was a good trip. Uh, yeah, so anyways, get right to it. Again, you're going to see some footage now of uh, you know free diving on some um, coral heads. That's crazy. All right, so starting off here in the lagoon, and I think I did mention how you're not uh, supposed to fish on the island. Uh, so my alternative was really to have a underwater fishing reel and rod so i brought this ice fishing rod i guess i want to say it is and connected a very old school reel that i probably got at a garage sale you know 10 years ago uh and just spooled it up with some um, you know like 10 pound mono i guess the lure i first tried was a fly it was a very small uh wet fly that I mean, could have even had like an epoxy coat on it so you know sinking fly uh, something small small presentation that you know i just wanted to catch something uh water is very clear here as you can see so i knew it would be a little tricky to get some of these fish to bite
So this uh, little tiny coral down there is holding so many fish. Uh, so I'm throwing the fly down there, kind of jigging it sharply. I always noticed that uh, some of the bigger fish would you know, swim at the lure quickly once it jerked quickly like that. But then usually when they got close enough and saw it, uh, they turn away. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, but I eventually find a slightly bigger uh, coral head out here and switch to one of those I think it's like a DOA shrimp uh, I, you know, I was just ready to try and catch something bigger because there were definitely some bigger fish that were interested uh, so yeah this this thing actually worked pretty good so you, you can check this out So that, I think, was a type of snapper or a grunt. Uh, but, yeah, as you saw, unfortunately, as soon as he gets a little too close, they, uh, you know, they just turn away. So as you'll see in the background there, that's actually the fish I'm trying to catch because he's really big. Uh, you'll see later it's uh, an oriental sweet lips, but he never goes for the bait, not even once. He doesn't even look at it. So it looks like these uh, peacock hinds were definitely the most aggressive fish down there. And I caught them more than any other fish. Uh, definitely in the grouper family. Remind me a lot of sea bass, you know, black sea bass from where we are. So yeah, these little guys are absolutely beautiful, but if there's one thing I know, really colorful fish are sometimes poisonous, so I was trying my best not to get bit, number one, but also, you know, just try to release this fish with as the least amount of harm done. So here's me diving down at this spot to try to see what that fish was that I was talking about earlier. And here we get a nice close up of it. But yeah, he didn't want anything to do with that shrimp imitation. I don't know, maybe bait would have gotten him to try it, but yeah, he you know, didn't seem too uh, worried about me coming up close to him either.
Uh, so you're not going to be able to really see it too well, but you'll see if you look closely at the bottom left, a fish comes darting out right there after the bait, takes me into a rock and breaks off. And yeah, that was a 20 pound uh, leader. Yeah, I had to really use pretty light leader because these fish wouldn't hit the heavier stuff. So I want to show you just how many fish are down there because you really can't see from the surface. Um, you know, this is probably 30 feet down, but once you get down, there are just so many fish down there. And it's just a whole nother world once you get down to the bottom. So after I lost the DOA shrimp, I went back to just another small profile. Uh, it's kind of like a half ounce weight maybe with uh, like a micro jig on it. You know, sort of just like a bottom setup. And yeah, I just put this down there in this huge school of, uh, I think they're blue line snappers, came up and yeah, they were all about it. This next clip is a great example of how a small fish can attract a medium fish, which can attract a big fish. So see closely how that snapper is hooked. The grouper kind of looks at him and then that big one just chases the little snapper, I think. So after watching that, I dropped back down to try to catch another one uh, because I really wanted to just see if I could, you know, get that bigger snapper to eat. Uh, and he had some interesting behavior. So you'll see right here, you know, he's chasing them as they're attacking my bait and my, you know, those smaller fish are getting hooked. He will chase them, but it's almost like he still knows something's off, you know, that there's like a hook, maybe he sees the weight. Uh, but he's not, you know, he's just not completely convinced that that's a meal. As you'll see in a little bit, too, uh, I actually do hook one, and it almost looks as if the fish in distress startles him, uh, and he kind of swims away. So you see that though, he it's almost like he wants it, but he's just not sure and he's swimming much faster now. He's just got a much uh, you know, different type of swimming behavior. So yeah, I'm just kind of shocked and surprised that he's not going after it. So you see me here sort of looking around, making sure that there's uh, no sharks around. Uh, but not, not initially, but you'll see later on there actually was.
Yeah, definitely a bit startling when you're not expecting it, but it wasn't a very big shark, maybe four or five feet. So, you know, nothing to be too concerned about. Uh, but you do have to be, you know, aware, especially when you start, you know, having fish sending off signals with their lateral line. You know, fish in distress is just always a dinner bell. So you just always have to be careful and keep that in mind. On this last clip, I kind of just dove down to kind of show you what this uh, little coral patch looked like. And yeah, absolutely stunning. Just so much fish. Lots of these little snappers. A lot of damsel fish. Those black guys there are sturgeon fish. It's a parrot fish. Uh, there's just so many fish down there. And yeah, I've got a lot more videos to come. You know, they'll be mostly uh, snorkeling related. But this was uh, you know, just a compilation of some of the fishing that I attempted. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.